one of the things that has to happen. The instructions say that I should not parallel the batteries until they're each at 100%. I don't know how to charge one without unplugging the other one, and I don't know if I have enough cable length to install one or if I need to charge them and then mount them. So let's figure that out. So, I'm not actually going to stick it in yet. Uh, so, that'll get us there. It won't reach the second one. I'm going to need to move this battery. So this is where we are. Inside of this inverter, sorry, from this inverter through this conduit box, I have the load coming in. It's going to go to my panel. It's going to snug back through here through some conduit. Maybe not the best fitting, but it is what it is. Yes, these are beaker white. Yes, these are PVC. Ace didn't have the parts I needed. I broke what I bought from Home Depot, but I didn't want to make a second trip. This is indoors. Um, it'll work. What else do I have going on here? Okay. I am making spots so I have futures. I have 8 gauge Tenco wire. And I'm securing it out here so it doesn't wiggle. Feeding it through here, back up through the conduit box into the inverter. Um, trying to identify, making sure I know which one comes to each hole. I'm going to use one of these knockouts. This is a 3 quarter inch knockout clamp the pan one inch wouldn't fit the sizes on the eg4 conduit are odd and i don't know if something i don't have something between three quarter and one inch that would have worked but if you have something a little bigger it'll give you the one inch of your cables i'm planning to wire each of these up pull them back around up this way wrap them over and tuck them into each of these disconnects currently only have one array set up and i plan to just pop the array into here um and then be able to turn it on or off. Right now it's obviously off. There's no power. Um, and then these will all be futures. So anytime I get a new array, these can go to one MTPP. These can go to the second MTPP. For whatever reason, I get more arrays than that. Um, I can always parallel and pop them on in because I have oversized these. Um, plug diffuse in down here, 30 amp one. I will add the other ones later. I believe you only need them on one side, but I can always add them later. <laughs> 